Hey everyone, Joe Grant here to demonstrate the command set of my new Emic 2 text-to-speech module. Let's go check it out. The module uses a simple serial interface to receive commands from the host and send back any necessary responses. For this demonstration, I'm using the cool term terminal program running on my Mac. It's connected to the Emic 2 module with a USB to serial interface. On power up, the module returns a colon, which I can get again by just hitting a carriage return or a line feed. And actually any invalid command will also return a question mark. What I'm gonna do first is list the commands with H. So here's our list, let's start at the top. S will convert a text message into speech. D will play a demonstration message, and there's three different ones that I'll play. X and Z will stop the playback and pause and unpause the playback. The next few settings, we can configure the, the text-to-speech module by selecting one of nine voices, setting the audio volume in 66 different volume steps. We can set the speaking rate in words per minute. We can select the language, either English or two different dialects of Spanish, Castilian or Latin. We can select the parser, either DeckTalk or Epson. The Epson parser provides a few additional commands, whereas the DeckTalk parser is the standard phonics DeckTalk engine. C prints the current text-to-speech settings of the Emic module. I prints version information, and H is our list of commands. We're going to press I to list version information. And this is version information specific to this particular Emic module. So this one, we see the firmware is 1.0. Then we see two things here, the hardware and firmware versions for the Epson S1V30120 text-to-speech um, IC that we're using. So if we press C, we can see the current text-to-speech settings. And since we just powered on the module, these are the default settings. I'm gonna set the volume to four and then hit C again, and we can see that the volume's now been increased a little bit. So when I play you the demos, hopefully you'll be able to hear them. Let's play the first one, which is just standard speaking. Hello everyone. My name is Emic2. I am the next generation text-to-speech module created by Grand Idea Studio. I can whisper very quietly. I can change to one of nine voices. For example, from Paul to Harry. To Denise. To Wendy. I can also increase my pitch and increase my pitch again. Then speak faster and even faster and even faster again. And then go back to normal. And let's listen to this. D1. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Emic. Happy birthday to you. So now let's hit D2. Hola, me llamo Emic Numero dos. Ahora puedo hablar español. Soy la próxima generación de texto a voz modulo creado por Grand Idea Studio. Y yo puedo susurrar en voz muy baja. Y yo puedo cambiar a una de las nueve voces. Por ejemplo, de Paulo a Francisco. A Enrique. A Beatriz. También puedo aumentar mi tono. Y aumentar mi tono otra vez. Entonces hablar más rápido. Y aún más rápido. Y aún más rápido otra vez. So now let's demonstrate the stop and the pause and unpause functionality, which you can only use while a message is playing. So what I'm going to do is just play the demonstration message again. Hello everyone. My name is Emic2. So I just hit Z. In this case, we get a period as the acknowledgement. So if you're controlling this through some embedded system, at least you'll know now that the system is paused as opposed to seeing a colon, which indicates that the uh, module is ready to receive a, a brand new command. So now we're paused. I'll hit Z to unpause, and then a little bit after that, I'll hit X just to stop it. I am the next generation text-to-speech module created. Okay, so there we go. So let's just play around with the regular text-to-speech functionality. All we have to do is press S and then enter in um, some message. Hello, my name is Joe. Hello, my name is Joe. Now let's change the voice to voice number one. Why don't we increase the speaking rate to 250 words a minute and try it again. Hello, my name is Joel. We can change the voice again. 
and say, let's go to 80 words per minute. And we'll increase the audio a little bit more. I think we were at 4 dB. We'll go to 8. Hello, my name is Joe. And then we'll hit C command to check our settings. And now we can hard code them into whatever application um, we're working with once, once everything is set the way we want. That's it for the demonstration. Thanks for watching, and we will... See you later.